In this video, I will talk about uh, configuring uh, Microsoft uh, offline conversion tracking using SGTM. Um, again, there are numerous reasons why you want to track offline conversions. It can be like uh, the reason is that uh, you receive a lot of uh, purchases through phone calls or through your offline store. Um, etc. So recently we simplified the configuration of Microsoft uh, offline conversion tracking and uh, um, there is a like a connection tab that we will use inside this tape admin. Uh, but the configuration of being uh, offline conversion tracking starts in SGTM. Let me show you how to do that. Uh, the first step would be to add this tape Microsoft adds offline conversion tag from the template gallery. So we just type here and uh, add this tag. And then what you need to do is create a new tag. So it will be a purchase tag. Uh, then you need to add conversion name here. Uh, so for offline conversions, Bing has a, a separate conversion type. So what you need to do is go to your uh, Bing um, uh, interface and uh, uh, create a new offline conversion or just copy the name of the existing one. So basically, if you want to create uh, a new conversion, just click create and select here offline. So it's it's very important that you select here offline and then just the uh, configuration goes as, uh, as, as usual. So copy name that you've created and past it here. So basically there won't be any like conversion ID similar to uh, Google Ads. Uh, so tag will match conversions with the uh, uh, conversion goals inside your Bing interface by the conversion name. So ensure that you added the correct uh, conversion name. Uh, then here uh, you need to add um, uh, credentials. So uh, if you're using Stape uh, and using this uh, connection tab for Microsoft, uh, just uh, ensure that uh, this one is selected. If you want uh, to use your own developer token, um, then select this field and uh, just uh, add the, all the required information. Then what we need to do is add Stape Account APK. Uh, you can find it inside the settings tab of your SGTM container. So APK is the value below. Copy it and paste. Um, then you can add here all the different parameters like conversion value, currency, etc. So let me add value. Uh, then you can add uh, user data. So basically uh, when you will be creating the conversion inside the Bing, uh, it will ask if you want to use uh, advanced uh, matching. Basically, it uh, works very similar to what we have inside Facebook and other platforms. So it means that uh, uh, Bing will use user data to match conversion to a particular user and to its clicks. So if you want, uh, you can add uh, email here and let me see if I have phone. Yeah, so phone number and then uh, just select a trigger. So I want to trigger on uh, every request that is claimed by data client and the request uh, event name and the request contains purchase. To find your uh, customer ad account ID, uh, you should follow our guide and uh, uh, search for AED, AID parameter inside the query. So. Uh, AID is this one, just copy it, past here. Um, then uh, we need the customer ID. For the customer ID, uh, CID parameter is responsible, so copy this one and past here. So let's click save. Okay, now it worked. So uh, the next step before we will start with the debugging, we need to use this connection. So basically what we need to do is sign in to the um, Microsoft account. So uh, ensure that you will sign to the same uh, account uh, for which you created this conversion. I've already connected my Bing account to Stape, so it's as simple as just entering your um, like uh, login and then uh, signing in to your Bing account. 
Okay, so let's go back to SGTM and test if uh, Bing offline conversion tracking worked. So I will launch uh, WebGTM preview as well because I have uh, a lot of changes there and I need to ensure that uh, uh, they were uh, uh, affected. Okay, so order received. Now let's find SGTM debugger. And this is my uh, data tag request uh, that we use to trigger Bing offline conversion. So, and what you can see here, like the, the good news that uh, Bing purchase uh, tag triggered correctly. And you can see here that um, like these are the parameters that we added to the tag. And uh, email was captured correctly and uh, the same as customer ID, value, etc. Um, so unfortunately, there is no other way to uh, test uh, in online mode uh, uh, if uh, Bing uh, conversion worked correctly. Uh, what you can do, what you can do, is go to your Bing account, uh, like wait a little bit, and uh, here uh, you should see like uh, the status uh, of uh, the. Uh, conversion, so basically if it's uh, active or no. So uh, this is it. Uh, hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.